do us. Hello. If your friends are outside, bring them inside. Yeah, come in. Said the uh, nun to the bishop. Okay, I might as well just start. Okay! Hello, how are you? We are fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We are fine. We are fine. Yeah. It. What's your name? The Eddies. We are the Eddies from Dundee, Scotland. Which kind of music do you do? Punk rock. Punk rock. Classic. Straightforward, yeah. Punk rock. Hard hitting punk rock. Ferocious. No frogs. Which are the the main group that inspire you to make this music? Well, he's the oldest. That's a good we, of the originals. we all have different different influences. influences. Different. So, so when we when we do our music, we hope that it sounds original. Uh, I was 13 in 1977. So waking up to punk rock, everything has been influenced since then. I think we're probably pretty much the same. Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. Apart from him. Yeah. Like, Apart from he him, he's, 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 he's a good. youngster. <laughs> young he's a youngster. Guy. In the young guy, baby. We have, we have similar tastes, but we yeah. sort of overlaps, but we've got bands that each of us will like that the other maybe doesn't. And our tastes are beyond punk, but it all comes back into the, to what we do. Yeah. Yes. Do you prefer the group Crass or Clash? Clash for Clash. me. Clash. Crass for me. <laughs> I, 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 like cl I like both. You know, um, when when I was a kid, I listened to a lot of Crass. I saw Crass in live, 84, yeah. 5, 85. Uh, I saw Crass live with Poison Girls. Uh, but I think in terms of the music that we produce, we're, we're not a Crass type sound. No, 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 no definitely not. We don't necessarily not sound like the Clash thing. either, but I would say it's maybe more towards that sort of sound. Yeah. The Clash was an inspiration for a generation. Yeah, yeah. The first two albums were incredible. Mm -hmm. And then when they moved to London Colin, it moved away from me. And uh, I liked the ideology of Crass. I liked the first two albums also. And again, I think maybe they lost the way a little bit. Where do you come from, from, from Scotland? Dundee. Yeah, Dundee. Is the uh, Dundee. We are based in Dundee. We, some of us stay just outside. Just yeah. outside. Dundee, Dundee's where we, we rehearse. Dundee's where we play a number of our gigs. Uh, but we play all yeah. over, obviously, yes. in Italy now. But. Dundee is number four city in Scotland. Edinburgh, Glasgow, Aberdeen, Dundee. Yeah. So, so it's quite big. Big. Oh yeah, yeah. It's very yeah. big. It's yeah. a decent yeah. size. But do you think that Dundee influenced the way that you make music? Hmm. Lyrics wise, do you think? No, 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 I don't think so. I think it's uh, uh, We don't we, sing about Dundee. No, we no. don't sing about Dundee. No. No. But um, Dundee is hard working people and I think we are all hard working yeah, people. Yeah. So it's you can say we have a spirit inside from Dundee. Uh, we, we have all worked all our lives. Yeah. Uh, not, you know, unemployed. Always tried hard. Dundee has a good scene. There's a lot of good bands in Dundee, but they all have their different thing. They all have their different sound. But then it all, when it all comes to, comes together, it, it just gives it that diversity. 10, 10, 15, 20 bands in Dundee, every single one different. They do every kind of music, reggae, country, mm. or pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Punk, oi, ska, hardcore, metal, indie, indie yeah. um, trap, yeah. rap, rap, yeah, hardcore. Every scene. Every scene. What? Push you to make music. Not money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. I've, we've all done it all our lives. I've, yeah. I mean, yes. I've, I've, I've done it all my life. I've been in many bands. Yeah. Yeah. Since, yeah. Since learning how to play an instrument, it's kind of all I've done. Yeah. It's it's built in. It's in yeah. the blood. And when you play music, you feel something. And when you meet someone who you feel is the same the connection. It's yep. like connection. When we come to Italy. We don't speak the same language, but we have the same connection. How many years that you have this group? So, so mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I am the longest um, uh, serving member. However, I am not the original. I, I wasn't one of the originals. So okay. yeah, I, so I've been here for over 20, uh, 20 years. How many albums did you release? <laughs> uh, just um, Ajid. Yeah, uh, uh, just two. Mixes. Uh, there's two albums, 
singles and EPs just random. But down there have been yeah. many lineup changes yes. over oh, the yeah. years. Yeah. So a lot of the old recordings don't feature any of us. Yeah. But we have got an EP which we have put out four, four years ago, six years ago, six years ago, yeah. which mm. still only has three of us on it. Yes. Um, but after this tour finishes, the intention is to go back, work <coughs> on new material mm. and get new product out there. Because Barry and Raymond are the new, the new guys. And the last, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Mm. The creative process to make a track collective. Collective, yeah, yeah. yes, um, comes from all of us. Ian and Ed are very good at working together. Um, We've been in bands together, other bands before. Uh, and Raymond and Ian have been in bands together before. But um, I think you're right. It's uh, you're good at like almost musical direction in a way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. Together. And uh, sometimes one of us will come up with a kind of finished track and we'll, we'll work on that, but most of the time it's just in the rehearsal room. Ian will start a bass line, I'll, idea, I'll pick yeah. up on it, or I'll, start, I'll come up with a riff and then we'll just work on it. It might end up being nothing like what, what I had uh, what intended, yeah. but yeah. that's so we're all, goes, but we're we're all, all involved in it. Then. Yeah, and we're mm -hmm. all open to that input, so you yeah. might have something you think is a finished song, and then you bring it to the other guys and like, well, but what if we turn that the other way around, and why, what if we make that the verse and that the course, and mm -hmm. what if we, I don't like that riff, so what if we do something else for that? And it, it's, it's a, quite an open, yeah. But very quick, when you have a good idea, a strong idea, and it's uh, everybody has the same mind, it comes together very quick. Yeah. Where do you take uh, the inspiration from? Subjects for songs. Lots of different things. Um, sometimes about our friends. We have the, the, the EP that um, Ian was talking about. It's called uh, Still Taking the Mick. And that was our old guitarist. He died of cancer. So, like I said, he... We, 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 um, we named that after him. Um, some, of the, some of the other stuff is just about politics, you know, or our friends, you know, it, it can be anything. Just, you know? But the politics can be like, a, a, you know, a governmental politics, but also just social, personal yeah. politics. Correct, yes. So mm -hmm. just interaction, people's just lives. There's no one theme that no. runs through. No, no, no. We, we, we're not a band with an agenda. No. Mm -hmm. So we can, it, it's quite open. We, we don't overly politicise as much as we can talk about political situations. We're not projecting a view. In which language is it? It's your all, song? It's all in English. 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 You don't use also your dialect or, you know... Oh. Uh, no, 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 not really, really no. 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 I mean, you'll, you'll hear it, but the words are... Dundee dialects very hard for non-Scottish people to understand. Yeah. In, Scot strong. in Scotland, people have different <coughs> accents and Re different regional dialects. Dialects. regionalized dialects. Yes. Do you like the stage or are you afraid of the stage? Love the stage. Love the stage. Love, Love the stage. Zero, no zero fear. nerves. No fear. Never no fear. any nerves. We, we have all been doing this we for do a long enough, time. Yeah. So, um, we can we work on. We are comfortable. The stage we is where you then get the engagement. So you get back from your audience something that you're giving to them, and that, that's where a, a really good gig can can take a life of its own. You think a, a big stage would be nervous, but with a very big stage, it's very difficult to get a connection. So the small stage, when the people is right in front of you, is when you think you should be nervous. But they inspire us. Last night, the crowd go crazy, crazy. and we felt like we were in the crowd. It was so good. Yeah. It was also the same when we played uh, El Paso. El Paso. Uh, uh, we had stage divers. Uh, it was yeah. fantastic. Yeah, great. And everybody Brilliant. singing along. The, the good thing about Italy is when we go through verse, chorus, 
by the time you get to the chorus again, they, they sing, they're singing they pick along. Up one they're singing they pick up very yeah. quickly. Which is the best place that you play? The We're the best reception. Yeah, yeah. yeah. ever. Mm -hmm. Where do we feel yeah. the connectivity with? That's, that's a tricky question because there's, oh, there's yeah. lo lots of good places and but we've had lots of good reactions yeah. and lots of good people, in, but all to, to try and pin it down to one or two I think is unfair. Yeah. You know, and, and there are gigs at lots of different levels. Yeah. A number yeah. of years ago we played in a very, very small bar in a, in, in a, a town in Scotland called Inverness and it was like we were six feet from the bar and mm -hmm. the, the audience were right in our face. Mm -hmm. That was a fantastic gig. It was very, very, very small. It, it was so small that we were, I was standing on the table. Yeah. And the, the drum kit was on the floor. In the and, front. And, and me and Ed were standing on effectively like a shelf behind yeah. the drum and, kit. I, I was on the table. And Lee was on the table. So, yeah, so, so that, that's one example. But then you can look at then the other festivals that we've played, like some nice and sleazy. You know, Rebellion. 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 And, you know, they're, they're great, great events to be part of. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's the whole scale. I think we, we enjoy them all. Uh, we, we like every gig we play. We, 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 we take something from every single gig that yeah. we play. For instance, Rebellion is such a big festival. And when you can walk into a room and it's empty, and then within one minute there's 800 people in the room and they're all showing the appreciation, it makes you feel alive. But yeah. then you feel the family connection when you come to Italy. I mm -hmm. never know any of these people, but now I feel like they are my brother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What in uh, your concert should never miss? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Us. Yeah, I, don't I don't know. Um, the beginning and the end. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, everything yeah. in the middle. Chorus. Yeah. No, the, the thing about the songs, obviously I am one of the new guys. Um, like your children, not one of them is too Better special. Than the next, yeah. I feel almost every song is like a child because I, I love them all the same. But before Raymond joined, he was a big fan too. I also do. Video. And he documents us ph photography yeah. and video. He's, he's, he's our. Before he joined, he was our photographer, mm -hmm. Eddie's photographer. Yeah. What do you bring as an uh, instrument? So we're uh, bass, drums, two guitar and vocals. So, Barry, drum. I'm rhythm uh, guitar. Ed, uh, guitar. Bass. Bass. And rhythm, rhythm guitar. Rhythm guitar, singer. Hmm. Nerd corner. What do you use, like pedals? Do you have something uh, special? Uh, they boys well. SM58. <laughs> <laughs> I like a 58 as well for yeah. vocals. Yeah. Straight into the amp. 
I, the only pedal I have is a tuner. Mm -hmm. And do you like your Marshalls? Or, or do you prefer, I prefer Marshall. Um, I've had trouble, technical trouble with my Marshall um, valve head. I've moved to orange, so I'm using a, a, an orange uh, tiny Terra 50 watt or valve. Um, as long as it makes that noise in my head, which is that overdriven sound of punk rock, I'm happy. Just that classic tone. Yeah, isn't classic it? tone. Yeah. You yeah. know it when you when you get it right. You know yeah. it. You the same. My, my guitar is a Yamaha SG. Um, they have been my favourite since the 80s. Uh, magazine, Susie and the Banshees guitarist John McGeoch, who was also Scottish. I use Yamaha SG. Skids. Uh, I love these. The Skids, Stuart yeah. Adamson. And I use Black Star amps mostly. I like the Black Star because you can go for the rock or the metal, and I like to sit somewhere a little bit so it's powerful, bottom end, but edge also. In terms of the bass, I use a Precision. The Precision's ultimately the classic punk rock bass. Um, I do have a kind of drive pedal, I've got a Sans Amp Tech 21, just a little bit, give it a little bit of grunt, give it a little bit of overdrive. Um, if I'm playing with my own gear, it's a, a Harka uh, 3500 head, uh, and then I've got a Warwick 4x10 cab. Um, but yeah, it's not overly complicated, it's just a little bit of drive to just give it something a little bit more than the original tone. We're not the kind of band with floor pedals and computers. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> zero pedals. We like clean, <laughs> hard-hitting music. You can hear every single instrument. There is yeah. nothing, no over-distortion, everything is clean and the vocal punches you in the face. Lockdown, during this bad period of yeah. all the world, did you have the energy to keep writing music or, you know, have some idea or black Yeah, we did. We released, yes. we released yes. a track uh, yeah. called... We were invited to do a track. There was a... Uh, some of them was putting together an album of, of songs which lasted 30 seconds. So the brief was, write a song, record it. It must be 30 seconds in length. So we did that and we did it... And it also must, it must be about lockdown. And it must well. be about lockdown. So we did that remotely. I recorded the, my guitar. And, um, but we, we did it separately, and, but it all came together virtually. Yeah, yeah the song was probably written collectively. Yes. But, but recorded yeah. Yeah. separately. Yeah, but yeah. We, we, we did that. We kept it going and we released that. And then um, once the lockdown was over, when they were in the studio, we do some small filming and make a short 30 second video with the track also. Yeah. So, so, do you hate it? Do you use it or...? Mm, social media. Social yes. media. Yes. Yeah. We're, we're, we're all of a certain age that you'll really find that, that, that we principally still focus on Facebook. Facebook doesn't really reach everybody. Um, we should probably look at expanding our social presence on Instagram and TikTok and these things. but. It's, 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 it's one of those, it, we, it takes, takes effort, it takes we, coordination, it takes somebody to take responsibility for it. We have no agenda on Facebook, no. we do not react to trolls, we do not follow all of the gossip and the drama, we just put out clean messages. And advertiser gigs. Yeah. 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 And we support other bands if we can share their messages. Yeah. Um, they have gigs and concerts, we like to share them, we if like we to agree promote them. What they've got to say then. It's very difficult to reach people because everybody's trying to do the same. Everybody's trying, oh, do we reel? Here's us in the rehearsal room, here's us doing this. It's like the content's all the same, it's just that the, the name at the top of the screen's different. Also, yeah. nobody really has time because we all work full time as well. Yeah. You know, so families. Families as yeah. well, you know. Um, like, I'm a grandparent, uh, so my, my kids are grown up. And you'd think that I would have time, but I don't because I have four grandchildren as well that I spend a lot of time with. What do you think about this group, the Italian group called Maneskin? Do you like it or do you hate Manskin it? Or Manskin, I love yeah, them. I, I love them. Yeah. them. yeah, I love their collab that they've done with Diggy Pop as well. You know, so yeah, I like Maneskin. Yeah. You need to educate me now. Oh, I'm right, they, they, they were on the Eurovision Song yeah, Contest. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, no, no, they, I missed that. They, yeah. they've done, Did we get that memo? No, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not good? Yeah, really good. They've done it, yeah. Um, they, they're, they're rocky. Yeah, they, okay. they put on a fantastic show by the looks of it. You know, they look exciting, you know. Yeah. Do you have any future plan? 
Uh, just to keep going, back to yeah, yeah, right. now. Yeah. Keep um, alive. <laughs> we've, we've, uh, we've gone through a period where we've had these lineup changes, so there's been we've had to kind of, kind of bed in Barry to get to know the songs and, and get to know with us and get comfortable working with us and vice versa. Raymond had kind of played some gigs before because he'd substituted when other members couldn't make the gigs, so he was really comfortable with the songs. But we're still just working on all the songs and getting to know the set that we had previously. Yeah. Whereas now, once we get this Italian tour out of the way. The intention is to go and get those songs recorded um, and kind of almost draw a line under them and then the, the focus, the principal focus, will be working on new material. New ones. Because, so, we, because it's then it's, it, that new material will be this band. We, we have new tunes but they're just on the back burner just now, you know, until we get these these songs that we have in the set just now recorded. Yeah. Yeah. So are you going to record? Oh yes, yes. after yeah, this, yeah, after yeah. Very yeah. soon. Yeah. May 19th. It's yeah. booked for the 19th of May. Yeah. Book studio. So. Do you have any help from some labels or...? No. Mm, no. Always no. self-funded. DIY or DIY. DIY, yeah. Nice. Always has been, eh? Yeah. The best way. The best way. <laughs> Your social our Facebook is uh, the Eddies UK uh, on, on Facebook uh, or just type in Eddie Scotland they yeah. come, uh, we'll come uh, up so. same on YouTube Eddie Scotland it just comes up Bandcamp uh, we've got yeah, Bandcamp too yeah. 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 talking about the past can you try comparison between the the, the beginning of the punk rock mm. and now, which is the main change that you see? For the Eddie's or in, in general? In general, 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 yes, from your, from your point of view, uh, but... We've probably all got personal views yes. on that, so yeah, you ask that one question to us, you'll get five different answers. That's correct, yeah. So punk rock for me was even before punk rock started, you know, the, the, the early... Um, the early glam, uh, American, Iggy Pop and things, but you didn't know it was punk rock until you hear about the dam and the pistols and the clash. So that was the summer of 76, but I was only 12, so mm -hmm. it meant nothing to me. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until my cousin visited me and he brought some stranglers and then it opens my eyes and then you grow, but then punk changed from 77 to 78. Then it changed again to 80, and then it changed again in 82 when it became the UK 82, hardcore, yeah, yeah. you know, and then, for me, it's lost its way for many years. American influences came in, mm -hmm. good thing or bad thing. Good, good thing, I think. But for me, punk is an attitude, it's not just music. It's how you live your life, you know. Um, we all was, we're all in the system. None of us are anarchists or live outside the system. But punk yeah. is uh, about uniting people. And, you know, yeah. and being good to people. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. collaboration and respect yeah. the people. Yeah. If there is new people that get on the scene, like new groups the, and new people that try to make music, which is your suggest? Do go for it. Yeah, just go for yeah, it. Yeah, just go for it. But, but keep to it yourself. Don't, don't let others yeah. influence what you want to create. Just yeah. create what you want to create and you will find an audience for it. Yeah, try yeah. not to copy people exactly. Take influences from bands by all means. Everybody does. But yeah. try not to copy. And uh, Originality is a game. Originality. Isn't it? Mm. Try and work on your confidence. If you stand in the corner with your head down, playing your guitar weekly, so try to feel confident, try to project. 
because you are sharing something with someone and you need to look to them in the eye and not just hope that you play something that they will like. Try to engage with them. Free project or singer that you have to know. I'll start then. Uh, I mean, if I was just to say my three favourite bands of all time, the top band would be Killing Joke. Um, secondly, probably a band from America called Helmet, who were kind of like sort of an alt metal band in the early 90s, very different to punk rock. Um, by the time you get to band number three, it starts to get kind of tricky. Um, <laughs> but I would sort of, uh, I'd probably say Tool. So very progressive, drawn out metal stuff, again, very different to punk rock. Mm. Me, kind of, uh, Ramones, Iggy Pop, UK Subs. I don't know, I suppose the Sex Pistols and Stranglers were the two bands that opened my eyes uh, in, in, in the early days and uh, latterly I've grown really fond of Queens and Stone Age again, so that would be my three just now. So again, all the influence that they talk about, especially Killing Joke and Tool, um, one of my earliest influences is Gang of Four, I love the edgy guitar with a bit of funk, um, hard hitting. Um, and again, uh, you know, the first time I see Il Complesso, and I, I don't just say it because Dari was here, I didn't know what I was watching. The energy that came from this band was incredible. And although I didn't understand a single word, I was so happy. I had to take the CD home and listen to it. It was amazing. Mine, uh, I'm a bit younger, so my bands are a wee bit different. Yeah. Um, I like hardcore scale comments, but Clutch, you know Clutch? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Pennywise. I got Pennywise mm. with Lee a long time ago. Um, and Hospital Food, actually. Hospital Food from North England. They're not bad. <laughs> Any hole is a goal. Did you give them a listen? Thank you so much. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Bye bye. Ciao. Ciao. Bye bye. Ciao. Bye bye. Ciao. Ciao. One, two, three, four. <laughs>